Hey there, YouTubers. Stampede Survival here. Uh, today I'm going to show you my 72-hour kit. Um, I guess some people would call it a bug-out bag. Um, this is something that I just keep handy in, in case there's an emergency. And, you know, if the you know what hits the fan and I, we need to bug out, um, this is the bag that I would just grab and go. Hopefully, we'll be able to hop in the car, which I also have my vehicle kit, my EDC. Um, but this one's a pretty much all-inclusive kit um, that's small enough to hike with. Um, this is just my equipment. Of course, my wife and my daughter would also have their own bug out bags that are tailored more towards uh, their needs. Um, but I was going to briefly go through all this stuff really fast. Um, you guys have seen a lot of EDCs, but I just want, or not EDCs, but 72-hour uh, um, kits, but I just wanted to show you what I carried in mind. Um, first, I'm going to start off with the food and water. Um, carry a few bottles of you know bottled water just to get me through that initial surge. So there's only three bottles here. Um, that's enough to get me going. You know, I'm not going to dehydrate in a few days. Um, just having three bottles of water. But I also carry a uh, Aquamira Frontier water emergency water straw. You can filter up to 20 gallons with this. Stick it right in your water source and and drink with it. So I got that for water as well. Um, also, I keep the boil. This is my stainless steel cup. I've got this at Academy Sports. I love it. It's a great little cup. Um, but that's actually got a little uh, carabiner on it, so I attach it on the outside of my pack. Um, these things are just stuck in the cup because these are also attached on my pack. This is a whistle with a compass. Um, it'll attach right on the outside so it's easy to get to. It's got a thermometer and a magnifying glass. And this is also a neat little tool here. It's called an eating tool. And uh, someone at work got me one of these. And I thought it was a really neat gift. Um, it's made by Columbia River Knife and Tool. Um, I'm not sure where she got this. Um, but you know it's got a 10 millimeter, an 8 millimeter, a 6 millimeter wrench on it. You know it's got a little screwdriver here. Um, it's got a bottle opener, pry tip, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's like a little spork. That's got a carabiner on it as well. Um, so right now I just got them in here because these are all going to get clipped on the outside of my pack. Um, also for food, I have uh, three packs of these Madres lentils. And these things are outstanding. I don't know if you can see this or not, but they're all natural, vegetarian, gluten-free, no MSGs, no preservatives. They're kosher. Um, they pack pretty small. In this package here, there's 300 calories in this pack. Um, I've got three of them. You can eat it cold, and basically, it's like a chili. It's like a meatless chili is what it is. Originally, we got these to make like cheese fries, chili cheese fries and stuff, but we found out it's really good just to eat as just chili. So you just warm it up and uh, eat it, but... In a bug out situation, I can eat this cold or put it in my uh, stainless steel cup and heat it up. These things are really good. Uh, if you can find them, I highly recommend them. The only thing that's bad is the shelf life. There's only about a six month shelf life when you buy them. So these are something you definitely want to rotate regularly, but we eat these enough to where we can uh, swap them out regularly. And then I also carry some uh, protein bars, fiber bars. You know, these things are really good. Good snack, good source of energy when you're hiking around. And then I have my, to cook my food, I have my emergency stove. You guys have seen this. This is the Coglins. I think I paid like $5 for this. Um, I'm sure you guys have all seen them. It just folds open. It comes with the uh, compressed fuel tabs in there. You just light one of those. It'll burn for 15 minutes or so, 10 minutes. Just enough to boil your water, heat up your food. And then also for food procurement, I have my little fishing kit. You know, I've got uh, fishing line, hooks, sinkers, a few little bobbers. Keep that in little Altoids tin. And then also, I also carry my B-52. This is a Daisy Powerline B-52 uh, slingshot. And I'm pretty good with this thing. Um, it's nice to have. You could definitely hunt small game with that. You could also use it as a protective device as well. Um, I carry 250 of the quarter inch diameter uh, steel slingshot ammo. And then I also have these. These are more for practice. Um, you know, if I'm with my wife and daughter and they need to practice you know, aiming, these are like tracer rounds for uh, slingshot, a lot more visible. And plus these are half inch versus the quarter inch, so if we did want to hunt with these, um, it's got a little more wallop to it, so I'll carry those as well. And then next I'm going to go to uh, my shelter building and I carry a Coleman poncho, and this is a really nice one. So this is going to be a shelter in a bag right here. Just you know, If it starts raining, I could hunker down into this, backpack on and everything. Just put, slip this on over everything, pull the hip, hood over my head, 
and uh, hunker down until the rain stops. So this is a good thing to have. And then also I have a, a contractor's or construction uh, 55 gallon, might be a 45 gallon um, trash bag. And you can use this to waterproof a shelter, make a poncho out of it, catch water, all sorts of stuff. And then I also have my SOL, Survive Outdoor Longer, emergency blanket. And this is a little better than the standard metal um, emergency blankets that are real loud. This is a little quieter, a little softer feeling against your skin. And then also, I carry a bunch of uh, cordage. I think cordage is really important in a, in a situation where you're bugging out where you may have to go off to the woods. And we've got a lot of woods and streams close to us, so um, that, that's, that would be our bug out location, is uh, the woods. Um, but in here I've got lots of, uh, lots of cordage. I've got the paracord in here. But I also carry two of these, which are great. Um, this is Coglin's, they call it polycord. And I actually use this more than the paracord. Um, it's real easy to work with, it's soft. Um, I think it's got like a 90 pound uh, tensile strength on it, so it's, it's good enough for your most applications. So I carry two of those. These are actually 50 feet each, and the paracord is 50 feet. They also carry some uh, jute twine, and the jute twine is uh, good for tying things up. It's also good for fire starter, so I can use this as tinder. And another thing that I grab, and I keep in there with it, is this uh, Pro Knot Knot card. I actually got this at Bass Pro Shops, and it's just full of all these different good knots you can use. Uh, they're all connected together here. It's uh, plastic, so it's not going to get damaged if it gets wet. And I actually saved the card here to show you guys what it looks like. Outdoor knots. And it has a list, I don't know if you can see that or not, list of all the different knots on here. You know, there's a, a bunt line hitch, clove hitch, a double fisherman's, a figure eight, square knot, sheet bend, rolling hitch. I mean, there are 17 different knots um, that are on these cards. And so I keep that in there with my uh, cordage. And so that's all for shelter. Um, I also have, for signaling and for light at night, I've got some glow sticks. Those are valuable to have. Um, also for signaling, I have uh, two five-minute flares and also a, uh, smoke, a smoke signal. This smoke signal will burn for 60 seconds, bright orange smoke, so that'd be great for a daytime um, you know, rescue if I'm trying to be uh, found, if we are you know, stuck somewhere and you see a helicopter going overhead or whatever. That'd be a great thing to have. And that for nighttime, these flares would be great for nighttime rescue for uh, alerting your rescuers. Um, but you can also use these as fire starters as well. But those things are the, the actual flares are a good deal. I actually picked those up at Walmart for five dollars. And here's what the package looks like here. Two flares for five bucks. I was like, that's that's a good deal. I found them in the fishing section, so or the boating section, I'm sorry. Um, next I'm gonna go through uh, how about one of these? This is something a lot of people don't keep in their kits. Um, this is the Curad Instant Cold Packs, and these things are outstanding. Um, the reason why I put them in here is because if you are hiking long distances, you sprain an ankle, these things would be great to have to put on it so you can keep the swelling down. And also, this is the summertime um, where I live. It gets really hot in the summer, hot and humid. Um, if you're hiking for long distances, you feel like you're succumbing to uh, you know heat exhaustion, squeeze one of these things, activate it. You know, keep it on your neck, the back of your neck, top of your head, under your armpit, somewhere to keep to get that blood to cool down. That would be a great thing to have. So I keep that in there. A lot of people don't put them in, but I highly recommend it. Not much weight. You get two of them in here. So we have that. Also, here's miscellaneous items that we are, you know, sunscreen. This is bug repellent. And this is actually a thing of Lysol. Um, you know, if you happen to be out somewhere and there's an epidemic going on, you may need some Lysol to disinfect something, so I keep that in my pouch as well. And then next, um, this is my Stanley Multi Tool. It's good. It's got a saw blade on it. Uh, pliers. You can use the pliers to take your cup off the fire, which is nice. And then uh, just miscellaneous screwdrivers and stuff on it. It's a good little blade or a good little multi tool. And also, this is a uh, kind of an all-purpose pack here. I check out a lot of goodies in here for survival. Snake bite, we do have rattlesnakes in our area, so you got a snake bite kit. Water purification tablets, very important. Now, if you run out of drinking water here and you need to uh, get some water that you can drink, but you're not sure about it as far as Cryptosporidium and Giardia and all that, throw uh, some tablets in your water and that'll purify it. I do have a can opener, um, small little razor knife. 
Here's something I don't see a lot of people carrying, but something I carry. And during an emergency, emergency situation, this is one of the first things I'm going to pull out of my pack. I'm actually going to clip it on the outside of my backpack. And this is the CS Tear Gas slash Red Pepper Spray. And this is great for personal defense. Um, if you have any critters in your area, we do have coyotes and stuff around. Um, you can use this to uh, keep them at bay. And also, like I said, for personal protection, you know, if you've got looters and you know vandals, that it's not going to help you with a guy with a you know nine mil pointed at you, but um, an un unarmed assailant, uh, this would be a great thing to have. So that would go on the outside of my pack. And I've got lots of fire starting here, lighter. I've got my uh, magnesium flint bar. Uh, I have some cotton ball uh, soaked in cotton ball soaked in Vaseline, which I carry in every kit. And also the, the birthday candles. These are the trick birthday candles that don't blow out. So you get one of these things lit. Um, the wind's not going to blow it out. So that's really going to help you get a fire started. And then also some Strike Anywhere matches in a waterproof container. So And also uh, 550 paracord and some snare wire down in here as well. So lots of goodies in that pack. Um, in here I have my Sony radio. This is a waterproof Coleman bag. These things are great. I got a three pack for five dollars, different sizes, but inside here I've got my Sony pocket radio. Runs off some AA batteries. And then also, I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, I think it's great because it is summertime. This is more of a creature comfort. You know, if you're uh, bugging out, bugging out, you want some semblance or resemblance of uh, being human. So this is an O2 cool pocket fan, and this runs off a couple AA batteries. It's actually designed to wear around your neck. And you turn it on, wind doesn't blow in the front here, it actually blows at the top. So when you're wearing it around your neck, it actually blows up and it puts out some decent air. So if you're walking around in really high, high temperatures, um, that's going to feel really good on your neck. And then also, I carry spare AA batteries, and I showed you these uh, Q-tip containers carrying batteries, and these things are outstanding. Keeps your batteries all organized, but everything I'm carrying as far as electronics uses double A, um, so that's why I only have double A's in there. And then I've got another pouch here. I'm trying to hurry up, I don't want to keep you guys too long. Um, this is a pouch of miscellaneous up as well. I've got my Energizer tactical light, and this thing is woo! It is nice. I really like this light. I was, I think it's listed at 40 lumens, I believe. Um, it runs off one double A battery. It's solid. It's got the metal pocket clip on it. This is something that I take out of my pack as well. Hook it on the outside of the backpack so I'd have it handy. But like I said, this thing puts out a ton of light. I don't even, it's, I'm in a very bright area right here. You can just, I don't know, you can, hopefully you can see how bright that is. But I love that light. Also, I have an emergency whistle. I got this at Walmart in the boating section. So it's a P-less design. It works when it's wet. Uh, it's pretty loud. I've got a nice compass in here, a signal mirror. You guys have seen my Coglin Sierra saw. This thing is great for uh, it help you uh, build a shelter, cut down some firewood. I've got that in here. Uh, I've got a small first aid kit, which has got some Advil band aids, some allergy medicine, things of that nature. And then this is the pack of uh, Slim Jims, just some extra food. I should keep it over here with the other food, but it fits nicely in this bag, so that's just something to snack on. Um, also in here I've got a, uh, this is my like, uh, I guess you'd call it HBA, health and beauty aids kind of thing. I've got some rubber gloves, deodorants, something a lot of people don't carry, but I think it's very important in a get home bag or a 72 hour bag, is baby powder. Um, a lot of people, I, I've seen tons of kits on, on YouTube and I, very few people ever have this in their bag. And the reason why I keep it is, if you're bugging out, you never know what you're going to be wearing at that time where you have to grab that bag. And if you're wearing uncomfortable clothing um, and you've got to hike a long distance, it, chafing could become an issue. So I keep a small thing of the baby powder in there. You can just, you know, put it where you need it, help prevent chafing, keep you dry. Um, but I think it's an excellent thing to carry. And also i got some like mouthwash, toothpaste, uh, shampoo, that kind of stuff. And then last but not least, I have um, this is another one of my um, waterproof Coleman bags, and this is the larger size that it came with. But in here I've got a pair of binoculars, which is great for recon. It's good for if you you know you think you see some rescuers down the way, or you know pop possible perpetrators from wherever you're staying. It's a good thing for observation. 
I've got some packs of tissues in here, and that's mostly used for toilet paper. Um, you may need it for you know other other items, you know, fire starting or whatever. But ma the main intent for in here is for toilet paper. But then I've got some socks. I've got some uh, work gloves, bandana, uh, underwear, you know, things like that, just to uh, uh, everything things I want to keep dry, and so I keep them in this pouch. And that is about it. I'm looking through to make sure. Oh, here's something. Yeah, I think I talked about that. So, nope, that's everything. So, like I said, and that's all stuck in my Magellan backpack, which I got this at Academy Sports and love it. Lightweight, heavy duty. It's got all kinds of straps and buckles and pockets and everything fits nicely in here and I actually have room for more. And I did that on purpose. So, if I find other items that I need, I've got room to carry them. So, anyway, that's my 72 hour kit. Like I said, hopefully I'm in a situation where I'm actually taking off in my car and I have my vehicle kit, my EDC and all that stuff in there as well. And like I said, my wife, my daughter, they each have their uh, EDCs. And also I, I took a tip off survival summary and I've got one for my dog as well. You know, I've got some water and um, dog treats and food and stuff. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to uh, comment on my channel. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope that you learned something. Maybe you got some new ideas here. Um, if you think I'm forgetting something, you know, please feel free to let me know. But anyway, this is uh, Stampede Survival. Um, thank you for watching and God bless everyone.